Tiger Woods approaches the ball, his pitching wedge in hand. His entire career depends on this chip. Slow backswing, balanced follow through. It's such a beautiful shot. It slowly leaks to the left and it drops. Tiger Woods just won his 14th major. Now, I think we all know who Tiger Woods is, and if you don't, he's like one of the greatest golfers to ever walk on this earth. Which is why I used his name, but eventually, you'll be hearing my name on ESPN for winning my 14th major. And although golf is challenging and time consuming and sometimes really, really frustrating, I love it so much. This sport, once you enter into this sport, it can be so peaceful. And according to the TI Golf Holdings Incorporated, playing golf on a regular basis can help improve muscle memory, balance, and endurance. And if you have never played golf, today I'm going to show you how to take strokes off your golf game because it truly is a fun sport. I'm gonna show you the fundamentals and how to prepare yourself for playing golf and the short game and the benefits of playing golf. So, First, before you even begin to play, it's really important to stretch. Golfers use their arms, their legs, their hips. So on my golf team, we have team stretching before every single meet, and we just grab a club, it doesn't matter which one, and we stretch. So you make sure you stretch your hammies and your legs, and make sure you stretch your arms out really good. Because if you go to play, and you're really, really tense, you're not gonna play very good. It's also important that when you do hit your ball and it's not a very good shot, to not dwell on it. Because if you dwell on it, then your next shot is gonna be even worse and you're just gonna be super duper angry and then you're not gonna have a fun experience. So golf isn't all, always physical, but it's a very, very in your mind sport. So you have to make sure you keep your mind clear and focused. Next, moving on to the short game. Golf is really dependent on chipping and putting. So when you chip, you take your pitching wedge and you make sure that you're lined up with the ball. Make sure your knees are bent and your posture is good with your back straight and your butt out. And you bring it back and keep your left arm straight. Make sure your feet are planted and you don't rise them up. Make contact with the ball, and if you follow through, your legs should look like this. It could also, your follow through is really important. It could add so many yards to your ball, you have no idea. Next, moving on to putting. I have a very interesting putt. Many people are different. It doesn't matter how you putt as long as you're comfortable. I like to stand over the ball and bring my hand down here because it's good to have really good control. It's also a good tip that you can switch your hands around like this and it'll give you more control. So I come down and you make sure you line your putt up. It's good to read the green to see if you need to go to the left or to the right a little bit of the hole. You bend down and keep your mind clear. Finally, the benefits of playing golf. There are so many benefits of playing golf. According to betterhealth.gov, walking the golf course can improve your endurance, and your muscle tone and keep you in really good shape. But like I said, it's not always about your body, it's about your mind too. Golf, according to the EIGCA.org, it can reduce stress. And if played on a regular basis, it can also add five years to your life. Golf is such an important part of my life and I love playing it. It has helped me find my inner peace and has kept me balanced as a human being. So today I talked to you about the fundamentals and how to prepare yourself for playing golf, the short game, and the benefits of playing golf. Thank you.